ஹரி ஓம் சில்ட்ரன் ஹோப் ஆல் ஆர் வெல் அண்ட் குட் பிஃபோர் ஸ்டார்டிங் த கிளாஸ் லெட் எஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் அ ப்ரேயர் ஜாயின் யுவர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் யுவர் ஐஸ் சிட் ஸ்ட்ரைட் chant om mantra 3 times take a long breath om take a long breath Take a long breath. Om. Om. Sahana Vavato. சஹனோ புனக்து சக வீரியங்கரவாவகை தேஜஸ்வினாவதிதமஸ்துமாவித் விஷாவகை The main objective of this topic is to know about what is meant by manure. To know about the difference between fertilizer and manure. To know about what is meant by crop rotation. To know about what is harvesting. To know about how to store the food grains. we are going to see about ag- agricultural practices of crop production how we are going to see about the difference between fertilizer and manure fertilizer are the inorganic salts chemical substances fertilizers are prepared in factories it does not humidify the soil it consists of rich plant nutrients manure are the natural substances and organic substances it is prepared in the field it provides humus to the soil it consists of less rich nutrient advantages of manuring improving soil fertility and soil structure supplement for nutrients maintain the organic status of arable soil prevention of soil erosion increase activity of microorganism used as mulch and weed control what is compost compost or the value added product converts waste material to easy to handle useful product soil like material rich in organic matter and organism it is not mulch fertilizer manure peat moss top soil the most important step in crop production is sowing putting seeds in the soil so that they can grow is called sowing it is the most important part of crop production For sowing, farmers select good quality seeds. These are the clean and healthy seeds of good variety. High yielding variety seeds that is HYV seeds 
are the better quality than the normal quality seeds and gives higher yield higher agricultural produce how can we select good quality seeds let's perform an activity selection of good seeds so we learn that the seeds which sink in water are of good quality and those which float are of bad quality now let me introduce some tools which are used for sowing traditional tools it is a funnel shaped tool provided with two or three pipes the pipes have sharp ends these ends go into the soil seeds fill into the funnel passes through the pipes and go deep into the soil nowadays we use more improved tool that is seed drill which is used for sowing with the help of tractor with this tool it is possible to sow seeds uniformly at proper distance and depths this tool also help to place the soil on the seeds so that bird could not eat them because of machines used for sowing lot of time and labor can be saved keeping distance between seeds help to avoid overcrowding of plants which in turn allows plants to get sufficient sunlight nutrients and water from soil i hope you understood the step of crop production very well thanks for watching this video adding manure and fertilizers adding manure plants need nutrients for their growth these nutrients are obtained by plants from the soil if same crop is taken on the same land one after the other then it reduces certain nutrients from the soil due to which the crop production reduces in such case if land is left uncultivated for some time then these can be replenished that is becomes available again one more method to ensure nutrients in the soil is by adding manure manure is an organic substance which is obtained from decomposition of plants or animal waste usually plants and animal waste is kept in the pit at open places microorganisms decompose the waste and produce organic manure adding manure in soil is called manuring improper and insufficient addition of manure results in weak plants adding fertilizers another way of enriching soil with nutrients is by use of fertilizers fertilizers are chemical substances produced in chemical factories and are rich in particular nutrient these are used to enrich soil with nutrients for example npk contains nitrogen phosphorus and potassium nutrients other fertilizers are urea ammonium sulfate superphosphate potash etc fertilizers are provided to plants by spraying or through irrigation using fertilizers the production of wheat paddy and maize is significantly improved however due to excessive use of fertilizers soil become acidic or alkaline because of which soil becomes less fertile fertilizers also cause water pollution by entering into river water from factories or with rain water from fields even though fertilizers are very rich in nutrients but still we should encourage the use of organic manure because of many advantages over fertilizers these are manure provides lot of humus to the soil it enhances water holding capacity of soil it loosens soil so that roots can breathe easily it increases useful microbes in the soil 
and it also improves soil texture. So, it is recommended to use organic manure for crop production. Crop rotation. There is yet another very efficient way to enrich soil with nutrients. It is by crop rotation. Growing different crops alternately one after another in the same land is called crop rotation. For example, earlier farmers of North India used to grow legumes as fodder in one season and wheat in next season. This helped to replenish nitrogen in the soil. This method is very efficient and so we should encourage farmers to use it. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Thank you for watching this video. जाने कैसी ये होल लगी है। Production from weeds in the cropland, along with desired crops, many other undesirable plants grow naturally. In the fields, all plants other than crop plants are called weeds. Weeds consume water, nutrient, space, and light. Unavailability of all these factors affect the growth of crop. In addition to this, some weeds also release toxins which may damage the crop plant and are hazardous to animals and human beings. Therefore, weeds must be removed from crop lands. The removal of weeds from crop land is called weeding. Weeding must be done before flowering of crop plants. There are many ways to remove weeds or control their growth. Tilling before sowing helps to uproot and kill the weeds. Manual removal of weeds is done by trowel that is khurpi or seed drill. Some chemicals called viricides are diluted to required extent and sprayed with sprayer to control weeds. For example, 2,4-D and methacholor. These chemicals are toxic to human body and so must be handled carefully. Before spraying, nose and mouth must be covered with clean cloth or mask. Harvesting The process of cutting matured crop is called harvesting. In this process, crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground either by sickle or by harvester. Fresh crops contain moisture, so these must be dried in the sun. The separation of grain seeds from harvested crop is called threshing. It is done by thresher. There is another machine called combine, which is the combination of harvester and thresher. After separation, the stem of crop is cut into small pieces and stored as hay. It is used as fodder, that is, food for cattle. Farmers with small holdings of land separates the grain and chaff by winnowing. The chaff, being lighter, flow away with the wind and fall away from the grains. Thus, grains are separated. So, I hope you have got good understanding of this topic. Thank you for watching this video. Storage of food grains and food from animals. Storage of food grains. Once farmer obtain grains from the crop, the next task is storage. To keep the agricultural produce for a long time, it should be kept safe from moisture, insect, rats 
and microorganisms. If fresh crop contains moisture, then these must be dried in sun. If stored without drying, microorganisms may attack on them and these may lose their germination capacity. Generally, dried food grains are stored in jute bags or metallic bins. But for large scale storage, silos and granaries are preferred, where there is good protection from rats and other insects. At home, dried neem leaves are used to store food grains. Some agencies like Food Corporation of India, that is FCI, and State Warehousing Corporations, that is SWC, offers to store food in large godowns. In big godowns, specific chemical treatments must be done to ensure safety from microorganisms and pests. Food from animals Like plants, some animals also provides us with different kind of food. Cow, buffalo, she-goat, she-camel provides milk. Fish is major part of diet in coastal areas. In order to obtain food from animals, these must be provided with proper food, shelter, and care. The rearing and caring of animals for food and other products is called animal husbandry. So I hope you understood this topic very well. Learning Objectives We learned about what is mean by manure. We learned about what is the difference between manure and fertilizer. We learnt about crop rotation. We learnt about how to harvest the seeds and fruits. How to store the food grains in good manner. Thank you children. Shall we do the eye exercise? Plus, put it into 
ஸ்பேஸில் எல்போவில் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஃபைவ் டைம்ஸ் change your hands pull left right thighs la elbow la vechirukom five times up சர்க்கிள் கிளாக் வைஸில் ஃபைவ் டைம்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் தைஸில் வச்சுருக்கோம் ஒரு சர்க்கிள் கண்களில் போடணும் கிளாக் வைஸ் வால் உங்களால் எவ்வளோ தூரம் ஐபால் மேல நல்லா ரொட்டேட் பண்ணி கொண்டு வர முடியுமோ அந்த அளவுக்கு நம்ம கொண்டு வரலாம் கண்கள் மைனஸ் கிட்ட பார்வை தூர பார்வை ரெஸ்ட் கொடுக்குறோம் நம்மளுடைய நார்மல் பிரீத் இன் பிரீத் அவுட் டுவெல் வரைக்கும் நம்ம கவுண்டிங் வச்சுக்கணும் அது வரைக்கும் ஐபோ ரெஸ்ட் ஹரியோ நம ஹரியோ